Hi. I'm so excited. I found a really sweet spot to record a bunch more of videos. Arthur State Park today. This is really close to where I live here in Palm Beach. And it's just gorgeous. So I'm really excited about this, although it is really close to the highway. But I'm hoping I can edit out all those sounds. All the, the car and plane sounds in the background. But I'm really pumped for this little dance platform. So let's hope that the shade holds for a little while while I record this. And I'm very pumped to put out some Live Artfully classes. That's the theme for this month. We went from balance in February to Live Artfully in March. And I've been thinking about it so much what it means to live artfully how much of a mindset it is more so than anything else you know and i'm a working artist i've lived as a working artist for almost two decades now and that's crazy <laughs> it's not crazy but in a lot of people's minds it is crazy because art is not valued at the same way the same pay grade as say spreadsheets or construction or finance or businesses you know so um, moving to Florida has been a really big stretch for me because there's not as many performance gigs. I'm not tapped into the entertainment community. I'm not tapped into the art community. While I'm still creating art, I have taken a huge pay cut because there's not as much work. And so I've been sitting, you know, and I'm being really honest here, but I've been sitting with how I truly can make it as an artist and what I want to do and what I'm going to compromise for. Some days I'm like, oh, I'll just go get a job. But even today, going to the marina where my girlfriend's working on a yacht, I'm like, I can't make myself small to make other people feel better about themselves, you know, or like fit into a mold with landscaping and please be quiet and you shouldn't be here. You're not allowed to be here, you know, um, those kind of boundaries that people disguise as safety. Um, but really it just kind of Anyways, I recognize that art has an intrinsic and very non-negotiable value in this world. And most people think that art should be for free. And so when we live artfully, we make our lives a living work of art, a living expression of art. And that is soul filling and everyone should do it. And yet, and there's muses in this world who allow us to bring that into being. I consider myself one of those muses who literally devotes my time to fostering other people living their lives as art, to stretching their bodies, to creating art for people to enjoy and think about. And so what value does that have? Anyways, if you value me and what I do, please consider joining my Patreon. If you're already on my Patreon, you value my art, you value the classes that I teach, the knowledge that I share, and are literally allowing me to re-sculpt what it is to live artfully in this world, to be able to afford to go out to eat, to afford rent, to be able to clothe myself from thrift stores, <laughs> mostly, and artisan friends, you know, but whatever. Life is art. And if life is art and life has value and everything you do for work has value, does a non-capitalist and consumerist identity have value? 